12 major fixes coming to Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 2 Classic for the release of the games. We're going to be testing these out in the flights, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these new informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. So remember when I said that, that MCC dev update at the end of the month of March that came out was so big we had to make multiple videos of? This is another video we're making of this update guys. This one we're talking about the bug fixes that have been made to the Master Chief Collection uh, spanning not just Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary, but we're gonna be focusing on all of those, but there are also some major bug fixes. In fact, 28 bug fixes for Halo Combat Evolved, some for Halo 4, Halo Reach, and just MCC overall. I might give you some of the highlights. Again, the link of the dev update will be in, in the description down below if you wanna read every single one, uh, but let's get into the content here. So let's start off with Halo 2 Anniversary. Nebula lighting was excessively dark and impairs gameplay on these forged maps. Uh, this is one of the unique forged canvases that are in Halo 2 Anniversary. And I've noticed a lot of the forged maps, actually, when they, especially when they first start out, uh, that the lighting's really dark for some reason. And then it gradually gets brighter and brighter throughout the mission, or throughout the game, I should say. With about th two or three minutes into the game, it's when you actually get the full brightness of the intended level. Uh, so maybe that will also help out with the situation as well. Another fix here for Halo 2 Anniversary, FPS performance falls below 40 when multiple explosions effects appear on screen now I don't know if this is just with explosions because I feel like I get below 40 with just plain multiplayer so hopefully performance on PC is greatly improved again on the Xbox we will be seeing improvement with this as well guys uh, I'm assuming probably it's more of a campaign issue rather than multiplayer is what they're probably referencing but then again it's probably could just be with the game engines as a whole obviously since uh, Halo 2 anniversary campaign runs on the Halo 2 engine while Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer player runs on the Halo 4 engine. So I'm assuming they're probably talking about the campaign here, but you know, it doesn't really specify exactly. Another fix here that came in for Halo 2 Anniversary subtitles are delayed and out of sync in remastered cinematics. I've definitely noticed this as well. Subtitles on the screen because of, you know, a lot of times I'll be streaming Halo usually when I'm playing it and obviously the volume's gonna be a little bit lower I want people to be able to read and hear at the same time plus it helps kind of with like audible comprehension if you're able to read and listen to it at the same time But uh, yeah, like with it being I was thinking it kind of ruins the whole entire experience so I'm glad they took the time to fix that up now I recently saw this bug on Mint Blitz's uh, Twitter page and it's Hilarious and it kind of makes me sad that it looks like they're going to patch this I really wish they actually wouldn't because it looks freaking awesome But the warthog horn and other vehicles incorrectly shoot scarab rounds when scarab skull is enabled now This is actually something I'm actually sad that they're fixing right here for Halo 2 classic because it looks freaking awesome It's hilarious. It's fun and plus it's a campaign. So like why not dude another thing for Halo 2 classic is that players were not awarded multi-kill medals when the criteria was met. I've definitely noticed this sometimes as well, that especially with Halo 2 Classic, that sometimes the announcer just doesn't keep up with what you're saying. I think this more might be a general MCC issue, because I think I've also noticed this within Halo Combat Evolved as well. That if you get like a double kill or a triple kill, you might get the metal pop out, but you don't hear uh, the awesome announcer going, double kill, triple kill, you know, awesomeness like that. Uh, so hopefully that is properly fixed in Halo 2 Classic, so we get the awesome gratification of hearing Jeff, Jeff Seitzer cite his most famous lines. Another fix here, shade turret kills shown up as plasma turret kills. Obviously, two very different kind of weapons. Glad that's been fixed. And then I went here, playlist progression was not correctly awarded on co-op players. Obviously, this is not fair for co-op players. You know, it's just going to the host guy. No, you want the people who, they're, everyone's putting in the effort to play the game, right? Everyone should deserve the credit for being able to complete that mission and the progression on a playlist or a campaign as well. So I'm glad this bug has been fixed. Another thing for classic is sword equipped sound effects didn't always play. I've definitely noticed this one as well, where sometimes that you'll see the sword just come pop right out, right? That awesome animation with the sword kind of coming out. 
it just doesn't play sometimes. Uh, it's rare, but it does happen enough to where it's definitely an issue. Uh, I'm not quite sure what causes this issue, but I'm glad to see that it's been fixed as audio is such a crucial part when it comes to uh, the experience of like multiplayer or just gaming in general. Honestly, multiplayer campaign, every side of part about it. Uh, when the audio doesn't sync up properly from what you're seeing, it kind of creates that disconnect that will actually in fact affect your gameplay experience in a negative way so i'm glad that's been picked up and lastly here for halo 2 classic corrupted textures on tunnel ceilings on outskirts i'm assuming that they've been fixed <laughs> and uh, i haven't noticed these exactly either because i obviously i played too much multiplayer i played the campaign even once or twice through and i'm probably good again with my twitch channel with these games releasing on pc i will 100 percent be making a playthrough on my Twitch channel guys so make sure you follow down there link in the description down below again all these bug fixes are coming in with the most recent build but there are some extra ones coming in not just for Halo 2 and Halo 2 anniversary there's some ones I feel like that really need to be mentioned to help kind of express you help your gameplay experience when I can play an MCC a little bit better for one we have Halo Reach saying there are texture issues between the fog and mountains in the intro cinematic obviously it kind of will take you out of the moments when you see kind of weird texturing happening. So glad to see that's been fixed. Halo 4, everyone's favorite Halo, right? Water is missing ripple visual effects when driving through Halo 4. Obviously, again, very important to have that kind of visual continuity. And also with ODST, uh, visor UI elements do not appear upscale to 4K. That's very important as well because when you go up to 4K, obviously a lot more pixels and you need to compensate that for your UI. It will actually create a much smaller UI that makes you kind of really tough to see what exactly what is happening. Now I have heard also issues when it comes to the uh, in the night vision that's in ODST as well that uh, obviously there's like a little bit of an outline, right? When it comes to uh, your characters, the enemies that you see within the game and we bumped up the 4k the line is so thin that the characters don't really stand out like they're supposed to with that night vision and uh, i don't really see that in the notes here about being fixed maybe that has been fixed it's been a while since i've actually looked that one up but uh definitely good to see that they've taken the time to look into that and we do have some mcc halo combat evolved issues related as well uh, this one's specifically for pc here uh crash due to unreal 4 fatal error that's been fixed very good to see that i've had that happen a few times as well mostly with halo reach but i've also had it with combat evolved as well uh there's been 28 of these changes guys so i'm going to pick out a few that i think are most important again if you want to see all these link in the description down below a very big fix for me is a charge audio plays when rapid firing the plasma pistol this one has been fixed so now uh, this is actually what i brought up in the ce bug fixes that need to be changed uh or those things i brought up when i was playing fighting halo combat evolved that i'm glad to see that i've taken the time to fix this out i guess it must, must have been pretty easy to fix i'm surprised i actually made it through the final build on that one uh, another here one here is that swap weapons occur quicker compared to legacy when using variable frame rate uh option so basically the higher frames the faster animation is it sounds like this is to me what it sounds like uh, obviously an unfair advantage um these games obviously were just designed for 30 fps and back then on the original console for xbox that uh, 30 fps was even like a high standard and uh and I'm, you know obviously we're bumping these games up to like 60 plus frames that uh, weird things like that will happen with end game engines when they're tied to the frame rate uh, that's, so that's I'm glad to see they've taken time to look into that another one here the lowered crosshair position settings were lower than halo reaches options uh, i would say i actually have noticed this because i usually like to play in lower crosshairs when it comes to combat evolved due to the fact that you're able to have more visuals uh, above you uh, than below you when it comes to having the lowered crosshair so basically there might be that if you have centered crosshairs there might be a guy on that platform that you're not able to see but if you have lower crosshairs it gives you more space above to maybe you might be able to see their legs walking up above you it'll catch the you know the outside of your eye basically and you'll be able to see them where in centered you wouldn't have seen them at all so that's why I know I've seen a lot of comments on my videos mentioning about like why are you playing lowered that's heresy I'm like now nah, dude it's more efficient 
Also for MCC, there is a general, there are a few bug fixes, but the one I think is most important you guys should know about is that quit penalties are not being applied to users when leaving. That has been fixed. Obviously, super important to keep the integrity of multiplayer games you know, intact. And um, you know, you want your quitters who just back out against because they're not doing well to face the wrath of the band system in MCC. But yeah, guys, those are all the bug fixes that are going to be coming for the release of Halo 2 and Halo 2 Classic. Uh, if you guys want to have any more bug fixes, let me know in the comment section down below if there's something that you heard about or know about when it comes to Halo 2 or Halo 2 Anniversary that's not getting touched on. Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Also, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe, guys. It keeps you up to date with everything going on in the Halo community as we rev ourselves up for Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 2 Classic. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen over here. I got a playlist for all my MCC news videos right there. So if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or weeks, those videos will keep you up to date with everything that's going on. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.